guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trisha and I go by Glam by T. So I'm glad y'all stay tuned to my channel and thank you for watching my previous videos. I really appreciate the love. Guys, today I'm gonna bring you a brow routine. On a daily basis, I get a lot of people asking me how I do my brows. So I thought today I would show you how I do them. Um, now I do have very, very sparse eyebrows, like hardly any. But um, this is what I have to do to achieve the look as if I have eyebrows. So um, if you have very thick eyebrows, you can still do the same routine. It'll look just as beautiful. Um, but if you do have sparse eyebrows, then you definitely want to keep on watching because this look and, the, and what I do to create this look will make you look like you do have more eyebrows than what you already have. So. Um, Please stay tuned. Uh, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I really, really would love for you to subscribe because I am going to bring you weekly videos. So um, if you like how my eyebrows look, please stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're going to start off today by using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I use the color chocolate. Um, that's what we're going to be using uh, throughout the tutorial today. Um, and we're going to use this angle brush. It is also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it has a spoolie at the end. So first we're going to start off by just um, getting a little bit of that product and we're going to outline our eyebrows. Um, just make sure that you're going the shape of your own eyebrows just so that everything looks natural and it's not way off. So um, we're going to do that to the bottom of the brow and we're also going to do that to the top of the brow. Um, as you can see, I'm just taking small light strokes and just outlining uh, both of my brows. Um, I do this because I want to make sure that uh, both of my brows are pretty much even, so I do the outline uh, first. Um, they're not always perfect, but I try to get them, you know, as close as possible as I can. But we're going to do that to both sides, so you're just taking a little bit of that product, and we are just doing a sweeper motion. Um, to the bottom and top of the brow just so that we can see what our outline is going to look like for our brows. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit more of that product and we're going to go ahead and do small strokes and we're going to fill in the brow. So those small strokes as you can see I'm just um, gently tapping that into the brows that I do have and then I also grab my spoolie just to uh, even out some of the product so that the product doesn't look harsh on the brow. Okay, so normally when I get to the tail of my brow, I like to um, just dip a little bit more product and I actually make that uh, end of the brow a little bit darker um, just because it is the tail end of the brow and I really do not have any hair at the end of my brow. So I have to make the illusion that I actually have brow hair there so that the tail end is going to be a little bit darker okay so we're going to do this to the other side as well as you can see I'm just gently stroking in the product and I'm also using my spoolie to even the product out throughout my brows Sometimes when I get to the tail end of the brow, I like to take my finger and lift up the area where my arch is just so that I can create a uh, slight arch to my eyebrows. Um, and that makes it just look really natural. So here I'm going to take my concealer in a flat definer brush. Um, I think I'm using the flat definer brush from Sigma Beauty. I love this brush. But what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and clean up our brows now. So the concealer will help you contour your eyebrow. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm just gently um, shaping that eyebrow out and I'm gonna be doing this um, to the bottom and the top. Now normally at the bottom of my brow, I'll use a concealer that is about two shades lighter than my natural skin tone just to create a nice little highlight. Um, and I will also uh, go at the tip of my brow just to create like a shaded effect because I really don't have any brows there so and I don't want it to look square or harsh so I will just kind of put a little bit of that concealer there at the tip and then I will use my spoolie to 
um, create like a little shaded effect. So what you're watching me do here is I'm also taking just a, a regular fluffy brush as well and I'm cleaning up some of that concealer as I'm contouring my eyebrows. I'm gonna do that to both sides of the brow. And there I go again, just making a nice little shaded effect to the top of my brow. Okay, next we're gonna go in with MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Um, this color is actually the color of my skin tone. And what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up the top of my brows just so that I can have a nice, clean brow look. Um, this is a personal preference, so it is definitely optional. You do not have to do this step, guys. I just prefer it just because I like the way it really makes my brows look perfect. So, guys, this is pretty much uh, the final look. Um, I'm just going to do that to the other side. And after I finish that, we are pretty much done with the brow tutorial. Um, if you do like this brow tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to hit the red button below and subscribe to my channel. Ooh. That was really weird.